All right, so I want to tag this onto what I just did because it feels like these things are related because when we talk about mental health and, and mental health is important, um, financials have become a huge part of mental health, I would say globally, um, in the midst of a pandemic that's, that's decimated the, the economy for, for most people. Um, it, it's been a rough year. And Bell has their Let's Talk Day, which is you know trending on Twitter as it does every day, and it feels like it gets bigger every year. But then there are people talking about the the corporate malfeasance of of Bell and things they've done to to their 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 workers, and just the way they've they generally treated people, and it it it's it's a mixed bag, and it's one of those things that it, it's it's hard for me in that. Um, I kind of I kind of get it. I kind of get why people are are against the the Let's Talk Day. I kind of understand too why people support it. Uh, the video they put out this year was was Michael Bublé from his home. He has a beautiful home, um, and and he does. It's not. It is funny too because I've seen people talk about his his palatial mansion. Um, I I know he has a hockey rink in his house. I know how ridiculous that sounds. Um. I know it's a big house, but it's not, it's not gaudy. Put it that way. It's not gaudy. It's not something that you would look at and go, wow, there's a big celebrity lives. There. You wouldn't, you wouldn't think that. Um, and, and it is, it, it's, it's just, it's a nice house and yeah. Um, but it, it, the one thing is that, you know, he, he does this video. He's a good person. He, he does his best to, um, keep track of what may or may not upset people. Uh, I know from talking to him in the past, uh, there have been things that have been said and whatever. Um, where And and I know in, in live streams, when we talked about him, there were things that Yvonne and I have talked about regarding him too. Because um, I, I like him. He's a nice guy. And there's a lot of similarities between, between him and I. And um, he just swears like I used to. I don't swear like that anymore. So for him to do a video for Bell Let's Talk, I, I guarantee you it came from a good place. And yet people right away are like, oh, look at this. Millionaire trying to talk about mental health day. Oh, I'm sure he's depressed. I'm He has his days. I'm sure he does. Um, the the concept that, that having more money means you won't have days where you're depressed is not accurate. I don't, I don't go through it like I used to, um, but it's different. Uh, there's, there's a lot of stressors that are still there, uh, even when your income has gone up, when you're not worried about making your rent every, every month. Uh, it's just the, the stress changes. You know, I went through 15 years of being broke all the time. I went through 15 years of every second Thursday, um, I would consider going to bed early because I knew Friday morning I got paid. And when I mean in the morning, I mean, it would go into my bank account about three in the morning. So I would actually set my alarm for three in the morning and get up so I could go and have some food. Of course, the only place open at three in the morning was like 7-Eleven. So I'd go in and get a hot dog or taquitos. And just so I would have something before I went to work. Because Thursday night, it might have just been KD again. And I, I might not have felt like KD again. And it was tough because we, you know, we had we had two kids. There were times too where I would make food and I would look at how much food we had and I'd say, okay, um, you know, it's Thursday before payday. We've got this much food left. I'm going to make a meal, but there's not going to be anything for me. So what I do is I would make the meal. I would dish it out for, for my ex and for the kids. And then I would go and sit at the computer and I'd say, I'm going to eat in a second. And then it would come out that, oh, you didn't eat. No, there wasn't enough food for everybody. So I made sure you guys got your food. I'm not worried about it. And then I would get up five in the morning on payday or three in the morning on Friday on payday. So I could have something to eat before I went to work. Cause I knew if I went to work without having anything, having had anything to eat for 18 hours before I went to work, that I was going to be really tired and I might start making mistakes. And if you're working at an assembly line job and you start making mistakes, you might get hurt. So I don't have that stress now. I'm very grateful I don't have that stress now. And I understand that kind of uncertainty. People are having that now more than ever. So this is where I understand people looking at a little ad that's kind of cutesy. And it's got, you know, a famous Canadian in it where you may be like, oh, why would they do that? Well, here's here's why. Um, 
people will click on that video and they will watch it. And and let's talk. Apparently, it's it's five cents for every view. And last I saw, it was three point one million people had watched it. There were three point one million views at least, right? So that's that's that much money that video has raised. Whereas if they had used frontline workers, it may have generated the same amount. But for Bell, they might have looked at it and said, if we get Mike in it, he can he can drive those views. And in a way that, that a frontline worker may not, or they may not have even thought about using a frontline worker because they're a big corporation and that may not have crossed their minds. I, but I, for me, the problem is that, you know, Bell Let's Talk, you know, for me six years ago, it didn't help. Five years ago, it didn't help. Uh, when I was dealing with... Uh, tremendous depression and what's interesting is I was dealing with tremendous depression um when I found myself suddenly single right in my 40s which is stressful because you're like I'm over 40 this is all broken nobody's going to want any of this um you know too many owners too many miles just throw me in the junk heap and that's kind of how I felt and so I was I was more dealing with depression then than I had been when I was broke and I was I was dealing with the Thursday night blues of not being able to eat, but uh, I had money when I was depressed all the time five years ago. I I was I had money. I never I never went through that Thursday night thing again. When I was single, I never went through that Thursday night problem again, which again is is a statement of how things got out of control um, in that family dynamic. Things were way out of control. And that, that responsibility falls on me. It falls on basically uh, both of us in that relationship. And it, it, it taught me. It's, it's something I, I never, ever, ever want to have to deal with again. Uh, that kind of financial uncertainty. So yeah, I mean, I have a lot of jerseys and a lot of sports paraphernalia, but I'm never, I'm never broke. I'm never in a situation where I'm, I'm stressed. My rent is always paid early. All the bills are paid early. Um, I pay ahead on the bills when we go into the winter because I know the bills are going to go up. So I actually try to pay ahead during the summer on power. Um, if I can get ahead on our cable and internet, I do because just in case, just in case something happens and let's say YouTube, there's a glitch. I can't get paid for a month. I want to make sure we're okay. I want to make sure that there's money and we're not freaking out. But it doesn't mean that there aren't days where I have a hard time getting out of bed that there are days where I'm, I'm, you know, freaking out over various things, whether it's, it's related to my job or not. Um, and, and it's, it's the other part of it too, is that as a YouTuber, you kind of have to put on your smile and you have to do your video and you have to be the same person at all times. Cause if you seem down, people are going to say things. And so in some cases they're very supportive, but in some they're kind of like, damn what's your problem and then it comes back to the well you you out you have look at your job how how in the world could you be upset because the the money doesn't fix all of it and when it comes to to mental health uh we we don't deal with it as if it's a health issue we deal with it as if it's a mental problem and that's that's the main the main issue is that we can have these these let's talk days but we're not talking the same language. I remember when I found myself suddenly single, that three weeks into it, where I was still dealing with a really deep depression, there were plenty of people I knew who were saying, are you over this yet? Just get over it. Just get over it. Just knock it off. The, the thing is, if you have a broken leg, nobody says, well, take the cast off, get up, walk around, you're fine. But if something's broken here, they expect you to just magically be better. There was something broken here when I was a kid. There was something broken here when I was a teenager. And I never properly dealt with it. So I got into a relationship that then stuck around for 15 years, went on way too long. And in, in both of our cases, both she and I should have left years before we did. We should have given up, I'm going to say, two years into the entire experiment. We should have said, this doesn't work. But it lasted another 13 years because we thought we could fix it. We thought, well, we can live with these things that drive us crazy about each other. And it didn't help that I came into it with mental health issues, and so did she. And then you put those two issues together, and it created a codependent mess. 
But again, the whole, just get over it. You, it, it's not that easy. And even now there are, there are certain, certain triggers you will find. There are certain things you will see that, that kind of trigger maybe something you haven't thought about in 30, 40 years that suddenly it's right, it's front and center in your mind and you go, oh, I forgot about that. Thanks brain. And so, you know, there are days that are worse than others, but again, the, the mental health conversation needs to happen every day and it, it needs to be seen in the same terms of a physical injury where you're looking for treatment, not just to sit and chat, but treatment and, and working on um, making that situation better. There are ways we can do that ourselves. There are ways that we can do that with the help of others. I know when I became self-employed, um, where a lot of people are like, wow, you get to work from home, that's the dream. When you have issues with yourself, being stuck at home by yourself a lot or working with yourself a lot can bring a lot of that to the surface where you're like, wow, I never realized how much I aggravated myself. Interesting. And so that can actually, that can actually make those issues actually worse. So, you know, it's a matter of rolling with the punches, doing what you got to do, which is what I try to do every day. But some days it's still a battle. And, and everybody's having a battle right now. And I think that rather than have this discussion around whether or not Bell has their, our best intentions at heart or whether it's this cold, calculated, corporate, mandated, uh, pretending to care day, the reality is we do have to have the discussion. And I think the more alarming thing is that we see all these tweets about Bell, let's talk. But before it and after it, crickets that's where the issue lies we shouldn't need a day the fact that it's gone on this many years and we still have a day is inherently troubling we really shouldn't need it because it should be getting treated and it's not because if you have a hospital for people with a physical injury that you can see and a you know broken leg broken arm okay but if you have a hospital for people who have a mental incapacity or some kind of a mental issue, it's a mental hospital, and there's a stigma attached to that. And until that changes, people are going to say, I'm not going in there because it's for crazy people. Now, just imagine if we did that with physical injuries. I'm not going in there. That's a hospital. I'm going to leave this broken leg just as it is. It'll just get better on its own. Doesn't. All right. Uh, hopefully, everybody's doing okay. Uh, 2021 should be a better year than 2020 was. Um, I'm very fortunate that I work from home, that I set my own hours. And so I'm able to um, do more content and, and thus create more income if needed at times um, during the, the, the drop that we see. And yeah, I mean, it's just life is, is not always a lot of fun. And, and money doesn't really change that. Money just changes what you're stressed about. Um, it, it really does. The, the stress is still there daily. It just changes. It evolves. It becomes something else. So I guarantee you that that if you if you look at a celebrity and go, oh, they have nothing to be stressed about. Yes, they do. Absolutely, they absolutely do. It may not be their bills. It may not be their car. But there is a stress somewhere. Because I think as people, I think we generally create drama at times when there isn't any um and that's that's something that i've i've dealt with in in my personal life and professional life too where you, you might have a boss who just creates drama and you're like what the hell is their problem today it's just how they are and there are definitely days where i think in in my head i i manufacture issues where there aren't any i manufacture dilemmas and and huge problems where there aren't any and then i might push it further and further down the road yeah, it may not be money related it's still stress all right hopefully this helps for anybody who's having that issue i know in the past we've we've tried to help people where we can um i saw one tweet yesterday which um shook me a bit where somebody said you know somebody in the hockey community had said if if you need to reach out and and you know i'll answer and i'll help if i can um, my advice would be that if, if somebody needs help, that I'm not trained in any of that, I'm not trained in, in mental health, 
my honest opinion would be go to a doctor, talk to a doctor. I know here um, you can go into an emergency room, tell them how you're feeling, tell them you've, you've got serious concerns about your own safety because of mental health issues, and they, they will help. Um, I went through that five years ago where they sat me down in the hospital for about an hour and they talked to me and they brought in a counselor and they had everything. And I, I felt better coming out of that than I had going into it. So it's there. And the best part is it's not just there one day and you don't have to post a hashtag about it. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. It means a lot. I will talk to you again soon.